Every video on this channel moves you one step closer to a government nursing job, improves your nursing knowledge and bedside skills. Watch till the end, learn something new today and contact me using the WhatsApp link in the description below for exam ready PDFs. Which action should the nurse take first when a patient's urinary output drops below 30 ml per hour? A. Start vasopressors B. Increase oral fluids C. Assess for catheter blockage D. Insert a new catheter Correct answer C. Assess for catheter blockage Low urinary output may simply be due to catheter kink or obstruction. Checking and clearing it is the most immediate nursing action. Which is the first nursing action when a patient on oxygen therapy develops sudden breathlessness? A. Call a doctor B. Check oxygen delivery and flow rate C. Start IV fluids D. Give a sedative Correct answer B. Check oxygen delivery and flow rate The nurse must confirm that oxygen tubing, mask and flow rate are working properly before escalating care since equipment failure is common. Which IV cannula size is preferred for rapid blood transfusion? A. 24 gauge B. 22 gauge C. 20 gauge D. 18 gauge Correct answer D. 18 gauge A large bore cannula like 18 gauge allows faster flow rates required during blood transfusion or fluid resuscitation. Which position is best to prevent aspiration in an unconscious patient? A. Supine position B. Prone position C. Left lateral position D. High fowler's position Correct answer C. Left lateral position The left lateral sideline position keeps the tongue from falling back and allows secretions to drain out, reducing the risk of aspiration. Which method is best for confirming correct NG tube length before insertion? A. Random insertion B. Measure from nose, ear, xephoid, NEX method C. Using previous tube length D. Estimating visually Correct answer B. Measure from nose, ear, xephoid, NEX method the NEX measurement ensures the tube reaches the stomach without entering the airway. Which sign indicates internal bleeding after surgery? A. High urine output B. Hypertension C. Sudden drop in blood pressure D. Warm, dry skin Correct answer C. Sudden drop in blood pressure a sudden fall in blood pressure with tachycardia suggests blood loss and possible internal bleeding. Which intervention prevents bed sores in bedridden patients? A. Increasing fluids B. Turning the patient every 2 hours C. Giving more carbohydrates D. Encouraging deep breathing Correct answer B. Turning the patient every 2 hours Repositioning prevents continuous pressure on bony areas, reducing the risk of pressure ulcers. Which step is correct when checking correct placement of an endotracheal tube? A. Listen for gurgling sounds B. Observe chest rise bilaterally C. Ask the patient to swallow D. Check pedal pulses Correct answer B. Observe chest rise bilaterally Bilateral chest rise indicates the tube is in trachea, not in one bronchus or the esophagus. Which assessment best indicates fluid overload in a patient receiving IV fluids? A. Fever B. Pedal edema C. Abdominal pain D. Dry lips Correct answer B. Pedal edema Edema appears when excess fluid leaks into tissues, 
and is an early sign of fluid overload which isolation precaution is required for a patient with pulmonary tuberculosis a contact precautions b droplet precautions c airborne precautions d standard precautions only correct answer c airborne precautions Tuberculosis spreads through airborne particles so n95 mask and negative pressure room are required which action should the nurse take first when a patient on iv infusion develops swelling at the site a apply warm compress b increase the drip rate c stop the infusion immediately d give analgesics correct answer C stop the infusion immediately swelling suggests infiltration or extravasation and stopping the infusion prevents further tissue damage which symptom indicates a possible stroke during a bedside assessment a sudden chest pain b sudden slurred speech c slow pulse d increased appetite correct answer B sudden slurred speech sudden slurring of speech is a classic fast sign of stroke requiring immediate medical attention fast stands for face arms speech time which type of isolation is required for a patient with clostridium difficile infection a droplet b airborne c contact D protective correct answer C contact Clostridium difficile spreads through contaminated surfaces and spores so gloves gowns and strict contact precautions are needed to prevent transmission Which action should the nurse take first when a patient develops chills during a blood transfusion A increase the transfusion rate B stop the transfusion immediately C give warm fluids D check blood pressure before completing the transfusion correct answer B stop the transfusion immediately chills during transfusion may indicate a transfusion reaction and continuing the blood can worsen complications stopping the blood transfusion is the safest first step which is the priority assessment after giving a patient a diuretic such as furosemide a temperature b bowel sounds c urine output d skin turgor correct answer drop your answers in the comment section below For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel I have given the link in the description below If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button Thanks for watching